All right, testing. Look, there's a cable in my shot. Let's get it together here. What's up everyone? Today we are gonna be taking a look at the Altour. The Altour Enclosure 2, sorry, sorry. The Altour Enclosure 2.0. I picked this enclosure up about two months or so ago because I was tired of breathing in fumes as one tends to get. And over that time period, I've put a fair amount of hours in on it and there's a couple things that I like and a couple things that I don't like. So if you're in the market for an enclosure for your diode laser, which you should be, because watching all these videos of all these people running their lasers in their houses with no ventilation, just makes me wonder, who are you? Do you not value your health? All right, so let's check out the Otor enclosure. Let me walk you through this enclosure, some of the features and some of the stuff I like and don't like about it. Starting with the outside, dimensionally it is 28 inches wide by 29 inches deep and 15 inches tall. So this is important because you're going to have to make sure that the tabletop you're using for this enclosure is large enough to fit it. It is substantially larger than the 400 by 400 millimeter diode laser that you'll be putting inside the enclosure. Starting with the front here, you have the two zippers that are used to open the enclosure, which we will do in a second. And then on top, you have the zipper compartment, which houses the uh, viewing screen, which I'll open now. And you can see inside there, so you can monitor your project. On the left-hand side, you have these two mesh pockets which I just use to hold the um, enclosure instructions, a little notebook of settings, and I just throw my glasses here so I don't lose them. And then down on the bottom here, you have these series of grommets. And these are used for airflow into the enclosure as well as routing cables. So you can route your um, power cables and all that stuff, your USB cables out this side of the grommets. You could pretty much use any of these holes if you really wanted to. And then on this side, you have only one grommet. Again, you can route cables. This is where I routed my power cable out this side because my outlet is over here. And then you have these series of loops, these nylon loops, and you could store pens or clips or anything that can clip onto a design like this, which is really cool and really helpful. Also over here, you have the exhaust outlet, but I'll talk about that more in a minute. So now let me open up the enclosure and we'll take a look inside. All right, lift this guy up. And you can see what the inside looks like. Let me do a little panoramic view here. And here is my uh, Otor Laser Master 3. And this is just a um, generic honeycomb that I got off Amazon. So where do I start? Um, as far as setup goes, it was extremely easy. The instruction booklet is um, pretty straightforward. You know, there's no real text instructions. It's just photographics. But um, it comes with these metal frames, which I really like. And there's just uh, one, two, three three, four metal frames that you just kind of set up in the corners and strap with these snap straps here. And that just holds everything in place and gives the entire piece structure. So as far as setup goes, it was extremely easy to set up the frame and wrap the material around the frame. That probably took me like 15 minutes to do. Now, regarding the material quality, I only been using it for about a month and a half to two months, but everything feels nice and feels substantial. Before using this enclosure, I was using a cheapo Amazon enclosure and 
just the material differences alone, it just feels really nice. Um, the other one had plastic framing and this one has the nice metal framing. This material feels, you know, nice and luxurious, <laughs> as luxurious as a plastic enclosure could feel. The straps are nice. There's no fraying. The snaps, you know, really feel good and substantial. Um, this enclosure is wrapped all the way through the bottom. So there is a bottom layer to this one, which some of the ones on Amazon, the cheaper ones are not. So you actually have to physically like place your laser into this enclosure as opposed to just taking the enclosure off the top and putting it back down. The fireproofing material looks nice. I hope to never find out whether it works or not, but you know, everything looks good. It even has this flap down here, which regulates the um, airflow in. So maybe, you know, if you're not getting enough airflow for your exhaust, you could always pin this flap up and allow more air to come into the enclosure uh, to help your exhaust system. So it just looks like they put a lot of effort into designing this enclosure. All right, let's talk about the accessories that come with the enclosure. And those are the light and the exhaust system. Starting with the light, you can see it mounts up here on the roof and it just uses those two straps. And it's just a simple LED light and it's routed across the roof and then down through the side. And then it plugs into my Laser Master 3 right here next to the power. This also comes with an option to run this off of like a standard uh, AC power adapter if you want. But I have mine set up so when I turn on light burn and operate in light burn, I can turn the light on and off. Okay, now let's talk about the exhaust system, what comes with the enclosure default, and what I had to do to modify mine to work with my setup. So as you can see here in the back corner, this is where the exhaust hole is. And it comes with a bracket here, which fits on this little like computer fan here. I, I took mine apart, so forgive me, but that's supposed to be one piece. And then this would be, by default, this would be screwed into the area here. And then this cable would be routed across the top the same way the light is, and then plugged in. And then you can operate the fan the same way you operate the light, and that would exhaust out. And this is the hose that comes with it and then you would stick this out the window or something like that or out your door. But if you're using an external exhaust system like I am here, uh, I had to make some modifications. So what I did was I just took the bracket, the plastic bracket off of the fan and then it routes to the outside here. You can't really see it, but it just comes out about a couple inches here. And I won't spend too much time on this because it's not part of the review, but I have a four inch hose and it goes into my fume extractor. So I had to get a three inch to four inch adapter and then stick the adapter um, from the Otor enclosure into the three inch and then kind of wrap it with tape to make it nice and secure. And I'll just turn it on here so you can see. And now the exhaust is pulling right now. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be using an external, um, an external exhaust system, which I do recommend something more powerful than this little fan here. Um, a four inch size is pretty standard, like a four inch inline fan. You don't have to get the fume extractor. But if you do go the external route, you're going to have to do some, some rigging with the adapters here. Okay, so I talked a lot about the things that I do like about this enclosure. However, there are two things that I don't like. The first being the way that this lid is structured at the top hinge. So to create the structure for the um, fold over here, right across the top, it has this metal bar. You see it right here. However, this metal bar is supposed to lay inside of these Velcro sections. As you can see here, it's already popped out. And I just find this to be absolutely irritating. They gotta come up with a better way of doing this. So you're supposed to put this metal bar into these uh, Velcro areas, 
and then you fold this down and you can see it already fell down. Then it kind of just hinges on that corner there and then you zip it closed. However, as you can see here, unless that bar is like, you know, really, really properly set inside those Velcro areas, it gets annoying. So once it's closed, the structure is nice. But, you know, if you're opening and closing this a bunch and that bar starts to fall out of that section, it gets really annoying to open and close this thing. And that's the one thing that structurally I don't like about this enclosure. Everything else seems so well designed and thought through that I hope that they can come up with a better solution for that. All right, and the second thing that I don't like, I mentioned earlier in the exhaust section, and that is just the sizing for the plastic uh, outlet for the exhaust. Um, I just wish it was a more standard size. Uh, the three inch hose and a three inch adapter was too big to fit over top of it nicely. The two inch was too small. This hose was too small to fit over the three inch. And I kind of just wish that you could select what size outlet you wanted to use. Um, I know the cheapo enclosure I bought off Amazon, the four inch hose fit over top of it perfectly. I didn't have to do any modification, but that might just be nitpicky because I'm using any external exhaust system instead of the internal fan, but I had to mention it. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If this video brought any type of value to you whatsoever, could you please, pretty please just tap the like button at the bottom there. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're into laser stuff, just go ahead and subscribe because that's what we're going to be talking about here. Thanks for watching.